So it's been a while and you've been working on the book yes. and we'll just give people yes. a quick synopsis of what actually took place. So I'll, I, I'm happy to do that and then you can fill in the blanks or correct me if I'm misremembering anything. But so, yeah, yeah, sounds good. So GameStop was a, a sort of high street retailer in the US, um, yeah. reasonably popular with sort of traditional gamers. Um, they hadn't been doing too well for a few years and their share price was beginning to tumble a bit and a big hedge fund bet against them and said look we think these guys are not in a great position so we're going to short GameStop and then on Reddit a community of um, sort of not blue collar investors but sort of like everyday people um, caught wind of this and because GameStop was so beloved to them they were like well hang on a second fuck hedge funds obviously but also we love these guys so what if we all clubbed together and then bought loads of GameStop stock and then the value of it rose the hedge fund would be fucked and we would be like shareholders in GameStop so they all went online bought shares the value and then the hedge funds panicked uh maybe you can take the baton from me at that point because I'm not totally sure how it all went so wrong after that yeah. So basically what you say is, is accurate. There's um there were some people who were invested not because right at the beginning, not because of the short position, but because they felt the stock price had uh, declined significantly. Hmm. So like over the about six or seven years before this all kicked off, GameStop was one of the like constantly most shorted companies in in America. Like it was a, it was practically like an inside joke in the financial world that like people were short in GameStop. Right. And one of the one of the hedge funds, especially Melvin Capital, that that lost the most money on on their short position on GameStop and eventually folded, um, basically as a result of the amount of money that they lost. They had been short in GameStop for seven years straight, right? And making bank off of it, and the price had been getting pushed down and down and down and down. And then there was this one guy called Roaring Kitty. Um, Keith Gill is his real name, but Roaring Kitty is his YouTube channel. Right. And or deep fucking value on Reddit. And he spotted that the company was like the, the stock price had been getting pushed down and down and down and down by hedge funds betting against it based on the prevailing wisdom that the tide of digitization was going to destroy it just like toys r us and hmm. blockbuster and you yeah. know all, all all of these massive retailers that like that went out of business and actually when when you looked under the hood and looked at the numbers the company was doing fine um they way more people still wanted to go and buy their their games in person people liked their physical discs people liked the actual hardware of of gaming more than they they wanted to just like press a button and download and more people were buying things in store than than perhaps some of these hedge funds had realized anyway fast forward a few months before um everything kicked off and a couple of people on reddit started noticing that not only was the company like massively undervalued but it had like one of the most massive short positions at, like against it in the history of finance in america like for in some estimates at some point for every share that should have existed it each share had been shorted three times like that's that's the that's the the size of the bet that that wall street had against it and they were thinking okay pandemic you know brick and mortar retailers are are going to go under you know this is just like an extension of this like thesis that the entire entirety of wall street had had that gamestop was going under and then all all of a sudden these posts on reddit started to gain traction it's like boys like this is this is this is our this is our ticket to the moon this is it this is all the money that like you could ever need in the world yeah and the price went from four dollars to 483 in the space <laughs> of four months and then robin hood and a whole whole bunch of other brokers um decided to restrict buying on yeah. GameStop and then over the next um couple of days the price crashed then it spiked back up and it crashed way down to like $40 um then they had there was a big hearing in Congress about it and then people started the people who had invested in it and decided not to sell at $483 but just to hold on to their shares started to investigate what the fuck was going on with this like how did we end up in a position where you can have, you know, 
three times as many share shortages as short as should exist in the world. How on earth is that even possible? <laughs>